hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Natasha. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for Trinidad Black Cake. So let's get started. First thing, first thing you want to do is put your fruits to soak a couple of days before you actually make the cake. So what you're going to need is one pound of raisins, one pound of mixed peel, one pound of cherries, one pound of currants, one pound of chopped prunes, the pitted ones. So you take the seeds out, or if you can get the ones without the seeds. Two cups of white rum, one cup of cherry brandy, one and a half cups of brandy, half cup of creme de cassis. Creme de cassis is a currant liquor. You can get it at any liquor store. And now we're going to add all the ingredients to a bowl, mix, and set aside. So let's get started. Raisins, mix peel, cherries. This is going to make quite a lot of cakes, maybe about three big ones. Those were the currants, and last but not least, the prunes. Okay, so to the fruit mixture, we're going to add our two cups of white rum. Let's add the one cup of brandy next. You can add your favorite brandy, whichever one you prefer. This is the cherry brandy. You get this in, from Trinidad. Don't know if you can get it online. You can probably try. So I do not have one and a half cups as you can see. So I'm just gonna use the one cup that I have. And my half a cup of creme de cassis. This is as, as I said, a currant liquor. And we have currants and prunes and all of those things in there. So it's just going to enhance the flavor of those fruits. You mix this and you set this aside for a couple of days, allow it to soak, come back ever so often and mix it until all of the fruits have absorbed most of the liquor and they, the fruits will be nice and soft. And then we'll move on to part two of making this Trinidad black cake. Okay, so now for part two of making our Trinidad fruit cake. My fruits have been soaking for about three days. You can leave it to soak as long as you want and make sure you keep mixing it while it's soaking so all of those fruits get nice and soft. What we're going to do with the fruits is we're going to blend it, um, not pureed, just blend it until it's nice and small pieces and we will incorporate this into the batter. So the ingredients for the batter that you will need are 6 cups of flour, 12 eggs, 3 teaspoons of vanilla, 6 teaspoons of baking powder, 3 teaspoons of cinnamon, a quarter cup of browning now browning this is what it looks like in the bottle it's burnt sugar that we get from Trinidad you can get it on Amazon this is what gives the cake its nice rich dark brown color you're also going to need five cups of brown sugar and five sticks of butter 
that is unsalted and softened. The softer the butter, the faster the mixture is going to cream. Now when the cake is finished, you're going to need a quarter cup of creme de cassis. Creme de cassis is a currant liquor. It is optional. I'm, I'm adding this to give it some more flavor. A quarter cup of white rum and a quarter cup of brandy. Now with these three liquors, you're going to mix them together and set aside so that when the cake is finished, we're going to use this to soak the cake and keep it moist. So let's get started on blending our fruits. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I added some of my fruits with the liquid to a blender. I'm not going to blend it on camera because it's going to make a lot of noise. So I'm going to blend out all of my fruits and then I will come back and show you what to do. Okay, so now to cream our butter and sugar. So you're going to add your five sticks of butter. Make sure it's nice and soft. So you can take this out the night before from your refrigerator and just leave it on the counter in a on a plate or in a bowl. To the butter, you're going to add your five cups of granulated brown sugar. Add your mixing paddle. Lock it into place and beat this until it's nice and creamy and that most of that sugar has incorporated incorporated into the butter and has melted while your sugar and butter is beating you want to grease your trays that you want to bake your cakes in i'm going to use a combination of circle and square trays and usually you need about three but i think i'm, I'm gonna do about five because i want to make a little extra to give away as gifts so you're gonna grease these and line them with wax paper so that when the cake comes out it is it's easy to take it out of this and set aside so my butter and sugar is nice and creamed what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the speed back a little and add one egg at a time and let it incorporate. So just keep adding the eggs one at a time until you've put in all. Okay, so when your eggs have finished incorporated, you want to take it off. And because this is too small for the amount of batter I am going to make, I'm actually going to transfer this to a bowl. Okay, so next we are going to combine our cinnamon powder in our flour and the baking powder and give it a mix. You can also sift this so that it's nice and light. Next, we're going to add the flour. A little at a time and fold it into our creamed mixture and just repeat this until you've used up all of the flour one other thing you should do at this point in time is put your oven to preheat at 250 degrees Fahrenheit okay so I've put in all of my flour it's completely incorporated what you're going to do now is add your vanilla extract and you're going to add in your fruits now you don't have to use all of the fruits you can use half or three quarter and you can save the other half or quarter to make an additional batch closer to Christmas if you like or you can just add all of the fruits and make it a really rich fruit cake. So, don't forget the browning. Add the fruits. 
I, I did mine nice and chunky, not too, not too chunky and not too fine. Add your browning. As I said, the browning is what is going to give it its nice brown color. And fold this in until everything has combined completely. Okay, so I finished mixing my fruitcake mixed batter. Um, if this is too light and you want it to be darker, you just add some more browning to the mixture and it will be much darker and richer in color. Um, I think the amount that I put in is just good enough for me. So the next step you want to do is you're going to put some batter into each of your baking baking dishes or trays and you just want to let it go like around halfway to three quarter you don't want to carry all the way up to the top of the the tree so let's get started I'm putting our batter that I had lined my trays well I greased my tr trays with um, butter and then lined it with the parchment paper or wax paper so that it's easy to take the cake out when it's finished baking. So just add the butter to the to the tray. If you don't want to use the wax paper or grease proof paper, you don't have to. So just about that amount, spread it out nice and evenly. I think I'm gonna take the wax paper off the rest and let's see how it comes out so I'm gonna continue putting these into my trays and I'll be right back okay so I got five cakes it's not finished as yet but I got five sets with the butter that I made so what you want to do now is as you can see I took my grease proof paper out of the others because I really didn't like how it was looking you can leave it if you want um we'll see which one comes out better and you're gonna put them in your oven at 250 degrees for one hour after that one hour is up you're gonna reduce the heat to 225 degrees and continue baking for another hour and a half so let's put them in the oven What you can do is set a timer for that one hour so that you don't forget them. So 60 minutes and you set your timer and allow those to go for that one hour. So my cakes are done, they're nice and hot, so what you want to do is take a fork and you're going to make some holes in the cakes. And we're making these holes because we need to soak this cake. And we're going to soak this cake with the rum mixture, which was a quarter creme de cassis, a quarter white rum and a quarter brandy. And you're going to soak this cake every day until you've used up your rum mixture and the cake is nice and moist. At that point in time, you can cut them up and share it with your friends and family. I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope you guys make it and like it. If you have any questions, do leave them down below. I will leave all the ingredients down in the description box for you. Enjoy and see you again next time. Bye bye.